And the Burning Channel is back, and today we are talking about Lake Mead. We'll be doing a Colorado River update, and with that being said, we are rolling right out to the Colorado River system here, and you can see that it is going to be wet in the next three days. A half inch of precipitation is going to fall in the Colorado Rockies. Nothing down here much, 0.4. Over here by St. George, they're talking about a quarter inch. Utah has been very wet. Is this snow? We are going to find out real quick. Is this new snow? And of course it is, it's still wet. Six inches of snow coming up here. Another foot or so right from Salt Lake City over to, to Rock Springs. A whole ton of precipitation. We go the next five days and you're talking a little bit more precipitation. We go the next ten days and they're talking about another six plus inches here in the Rocky Mountains of snow. We go back to the rain accumulation and you're talking about a half inch. So another half inch of precipitation to add on to the already high snow amounts there in the Rockies. Fantastic news. We will take it and this is good news. We go up to Steamboat Springs. They're talking about 0.5. Now I am using the GFS. The European, let's see what it's calling for. Uh, it's kind of spotty but it's right around the same. So we'll see if this happens. They're saying a little bit more down here by Kanab, just over by Sapa and Tuba City. Uh, talking about another half inch there. So we'll see which one comes to pass and this will be good news. We need more precipitation here. We've still got a long way to go to refill these reservoirs as we will be talking about here in a minute. Now, I'm not going to go over every reservoir tonight. We're just going to do Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and Lake Havasu as well. So we are going to go to the snow depth map and I want to show you what's going on there. You guys are pretty impressive. It's not near as impressive as in California, but wow, things have turned around and hopefully this will help Lake Powell fill up. I don't know if it'll help Lake Mead. Lake Powell's already done sending the water down to Lake Mead, so now Lake Mead has to release its water down to Lake Mojave and down to Havasu, so we'll be watching this and let's go out to the snow map right now. Here is the snow map and you can see that Flaming Gorge is 66% of capacity. We will go over some of these real quick. The Colorado Headwaters 113%. Gunnison's 131%. 162% for snow. Dolores is 157%. Navajo down here as we scoot in. Navajo's 55% and Lake Powell's 22% and we'll be talking about that here in a minute but here's your snow map and you can see that the upper greens 122%. 196% for snow. That's pretty good. That's almost 200%. That's almost as good as Colorado they say Utah is killing it. 217% for snow, 154 for rain. The San Juan, 678% for snow. That's incredible. So you're going to get a ton of water coming in. And then Dolores down here, 203. And San Juan is 89% for snow. And I want to go to the graph next and show you what's going on next. Look at this. This is the highest it's been in 10 years, and you can see it continues to climb. You have an average of about 23 inches of snow, and that's 147% for the average for the system. So that's not quite as good as the 200 in California, but still you're talking about almost 150%. That's 50% of normal, and you can see it's been the highest it's been in 10 years. So this is definitely going to have an impact on the Colorado River, and we'll have to see how much rain we get on top of this snow come this spring and if it continues to stay wet through the next several weeks then we could possibly have a decent amount of water in the reservoir luckily it's only at 20 percent 22 percent so it would definitely help refill the, the reservoir but let's go look at that right now and see what's going on with that and here we are and we are going to check out all the percentages of the lake even though i'm only going to talk about a few lakes tonight i want to talk about the overall system because this is how each lake gets its thing you can see that the flame Gorge has come up quite a bit. It's at 69, it's almost 70% now, and that's way up from last year by far. It's is still at 32%, so it could definitely use a lot more. And then Lake Navajo is 51%. It's halfway full, so that's good. Strawberry Reservoir, 72%. That's way up. McPhee's almost back up to 50%, so that's good. Lake Powell's being still way down at 23, almost 24%, actually. I did the numbers earlier, so that's what we got. So the numbers on the other graph 
half have not been quite been updated yet. Lake Meads at 28.68%. And of course, Mojave 79.65. Usually that's at 95, so that's down quite a bit. And Havasu is at 95.3. Overall, the system's come up some. It was at 30 in the summertime, and now it's at 33, almost 34%. So this thing has come up since last summer, almost 4 percentage points. So that's fantastic news. So we will take it, and we're going to go to Lake Powell next. All right, we are at Lake Powell. 2021 22 and 23 and here is your level and you can see right here it's almost come up higher than it was last year and we'll be talking about that here in a minute we are getting really close not too far away so that's fantastic news so it's already starting to creep up but you got to remember there's a whole lot of snow up there still and there's a lot of melt and we are now getting to the april 1st date we're just beyond that so won't be too much longer and the big melt will be coming and that'll be good news and we'll have to watch and see if rain comes on it or not and we're going to continue to roll out to Lake Powell's water level and the water level today is 3,521.85 feet MSL Sunday April 2nd so this was actually taken last night at 12 a.m. the level is 178.15 feet below full pool of 3,700 and the lake has fallen 0.08 in the last 24 hours prior to that reading and let's continue to roll out here we're going to continue to roll out to Lake Powell and 3,700 is full and here's your last three levels you can see in 2021 the level was 3566.60 last year was 3523.09 so it's come it's only two feet away from coming back up above that as i was just talking about at 3521.85 so we are gaining so that's good news we probably will come up beyond that and beat that before too long just like the theme across the west coast has been going on this year thus far so this is looking pretty good thus far inactive pools 3490 and dead pool is 3370 a long way to go and we continue to roll on here lake pal is down 1.24 from one year ago lake pal is down 44.75 from two years ago lake pal is 31.85 feet from an active pool lake pal is 151.85 feet from dead pool and we continue to roll on here your inflows and your outflows your inflows are currently 7200 your outflows are 9 9,286 so they have more going out right now than what's coming in but that's not going to last for too much longer there will be an increase we will be watching that for sure to make sure see what happens we'll be watching it all summer and Lake Powell is up 0.87 in the last 14 days that's good the more that comes up the better we will be so let's continue to roll out to Lake Mead's dashboard here and we're going to go out to the graph here 2021 22 and 23 and here we are that's this year 2021's and here's 2022 and we continue to roll on and Lake Mead's water level is currently 1,046.02 feet MSL Monday April 3rd 2023 4 p.m. the level is 182.98 feet below full pool of 1,229 changes since yesterday this thing has come down 0.03 and that's what's going on there and we continue to roll out to your graphs for the last three years full pool 1,229. In 2021, the level was 1,084.20. Last year, the level was at 1,061.11, and today's level is 1,045.92. Your power, your inactive pool power loss is 950. Your dead pool is 895. And one year ago, the lake was 15.19 feet higher. Two years ago, the water level was 38.28 feet higher and inactive pools 95.92 feet away deadpool still 150.92 feet lake mead is up 0.09 in the last 14 inflows and outflows your current inflows are 11,882 your current outflows are 11,962 so they're a little bit different there and we continue to roll on here now we're going to go out to lake havasu here and lake havasu's dashboard here and here we are 2021 22 and 23 and the water level for this year last year and the year before and here we go and lake havasu's water level is currently 449.20 feet msl monday april 3rd 2023 at 4 30 p.m the level is 4.20 feet 
above full pool of 445 and changes since yesterday 0.29 your full pool is 445 and the levels are always above the full pool level there at 448.26 in 2021 448 0.29 last year 449.02 and inactive pools 440 and dead pools 400 inflows and your outflows at lake havasu inflows are 8130 and your outflows are 7899 and i got one last thing i was scrolling through youtube and i come across this video here so i asked the guy if i could have permission to show his video and he said sure go ahead and if you would be so kindly maybe give that guy some subscribe he has a couple water videos that are pretty neat and maybe he'll start posting more water videos from time to time and different things and you can help grow his channel it's the velar nasal so go check it out you're looking at horseshoe dam and you can see that they can go walk underneath it that's pretty cool and i just want to say that this waterway goes all the way to the colorado river but it's down below parker so it will definitely make it to mexico so that's good news for mexico maybe they can actually Actually use some water for a change he also has another video of arizona tempe town lake billway overflowing in march 23 which is pretty neat and that's fantastic news but all this water is heading towards mexico so so go check this guy's stuff out he has 200 subscribers as of right now so maybe a few of you guys can give him a like a share and thank you guys for stopping by and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one god bless